Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, now we are going to discuss the SR latches. Let's start the discussion. So your heading is SR latch. What is latch? Latch is used for the locking or latching the informations. Latches are used for locking or latching the informations. Now we will see the diagram of SR latch consisting of universal gate. In that NAND gate we will use. So with the use of the NAND gate we are going to draw the logic diagram. So this is the logic diagram for SR latch. It consists of input S and R. After that it has output QN and QN bar. According to these connections, we are getting the output for the latches. Now, we will see the truth table for SR latch. It consists of input side S and R. And output we are going to write with QN plus 1 that is next it for the notations purpose. So, two inputs means how many combinations? 0, 0. 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 now according to the latch for 0 0 it is an invalid state for 0 1 we get 1 0 for 1 0 we get 0 1 and for 1 1 we have qn only what is qn qn is the memory Now we will explain the truth table in detail. So first of all we will take this first condition as s equals to 0 and r equals to 1. For that you have to write like when s equals to 0 and r equals to 1 you should get qn plus 1 as 1 and 0. So you have to draw here again the diagram. So, these are your NAND gates. This is your S input. Here, R input. These connections you have to made here. Now, you have to take S equals to 0 and R equals to 1. Now you should know the truth table for NAND gate that is A, B and Y. How many combinations? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. According to the NAND gate when any of the input is 0 you get the output 1. For last condition that is 1, 1 you will get the 0 for truth table of a NAND gate. Now you will apply the truth table over here. Whenever any of the input is 0, you will get the output as 1. And this one goes here. 1, 1 is 0. So for 0, 1, the output is 1, 0. Here it is Qn and it is the Qn bar. In this way, you have to verify the conditions for each case. So we have verified 1, 0. After that you have to make the second case when s equals to 1 and r is equals to 0 then what is the answer. Again we will draw the SR latch. S is the input here. Here r is the input. In this way you have to make the connections. This is QN and QN bar. Now when S equals to 1 and R equals to 0, you have to calculate the output. So when any of the input is 0, you get the output as 1. This one goes here. When two inputs of the NAND gate are 1, 1, the output is 0. So for 1, 0, you are getting 0, 1. So this condition is also verified. After that you have to take the last condition that is when 
s equals to 1 and r equals to 1 what output you will get here so we will again draw sr latch over here input is s here here input is r make the connections accordingly at the output you will get qn and qn bar so for this case you have to take s equals to 1 and r equals to 1 now for this case you have to assume the previous memory outputs as suppose 0 and 1 so previous memory you have to take into consideration so this qn will be here so 0 1 in any of the input is 0 output is 1 now this one goes here and 1 1 is you will get here 0 so for 1 1 whatever the memory elements are present previously you will get the same numbers that is binary outputs so this is all about the explanation to the last case s equals to 1 and r equals to 1 now we will discuss the first case when s equals to 0 and r equals to 0 you should get the invalid state so what is the meaning of invalid state we will discuss over here so again we will draw one diagram this diagram is of sr latch again s is the input r is the input here s and r After that, you have to make connections like this. Now, you have to focus on what are our inputs. So, our inputs are S equals to 0 and R equals to 0. This is the output QN and QN bar. When any of the input is 0, output should be 1. And here also, when any of the input is 0, output should be 1. But according to the logical diagram, these two outputs should be complement of each other. If qn equals to 1, qn bar should be 0. If qn equals to 0, qn bar should be 1. So this condition is not satisfied over here. That's why it is called as the invalid state. So these are the four combinations of SR latch for each conditions of the truth table. We have verified the first case when s equals to 0, r equals to 0. We got invalid state because qn and q and bar are not complement of each other after that for 0 1 we got 1 0 over here for 1 0 we got 0 1 over here as the output and for 1 1 whatever the memory elements were present these are the answers for s equals to 1 and r equals to 1 we have designed here sr latches with the use of the nand gate that are universal gates you can also design with the use of nor gate so this is all about the sr latches thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe to ikeda